Hi everyone, my name is Priyesh and I'm currently a teaching fellow at QuesMed. Today I'm going to talk about the Multi-Specialty Recruitment Assessment, MSRA, an exam that you have to take in order to enter certain specialty training pathways. At QuesMed, we've worked hard to create a dedicated all-in-one question bank platform based on all the themes that you'll encounter in the exam. What is the MSRA? The MSRA is a computer-based exam that's used as part of selection into postgraduate specialty training in the UK. It features a mix of clinical multiple choice questions, similar to medical school finals, and professional development questions, similar to traditional situational judgment tests, split across two papers held on the same day. Each specialty uses the MSRA score differently, so it's important to check specific national recruitment websites for further guidance on the specialty that you're applying for. For the majority of specialties, your score will be used to shortlist for an interview and contribute to your overall ranking, along with your interview score. Next, who takes the MSRA? So most will take this exam during their FY2 year when applying for ST1 posts and there are two sittings each year, in January and in August, with bookings for the exam taking place one month before the exam date. If you're interested in applying for the following specialties listed on screen, then you'll have to sit the MSRA. As you can see, it's most specialties, and that's why we've been working on how you can prepare best for the exam. So next, how to apply and where to take the exam. To book the exam, you first have to apply for one of the specialties that uses the MSRA exam, which is done using our favorite platform, Aureal. If your Aureal application meets the eligibility criteria for that specialty, you'll be invited to book the MSRA, which is done in Pearson View Centers across several dates. The exam can also be taken internationally at select centres too. The most important point here is to try to book your slot as early as possible, because during specialty application windows, there's going to be a lot of people trying to book this exam. So you want to ensure that you're aware of your specialty application timelines as soon as possible, so you can sit the exam at a centre close to you. Exam fees. Some good news, unlike most postgraduate exams, or maybe postgraduate anything, the MSRA is actually free to sit. Some costs to consider, however, are travel and potentially accommodation for the test centre, as well as exam preparation resources. In terms of the format of the exam, the MSRA exam is two hours and 55 minutes in total, with a five minute break in between the two parts. If you finish the first part early, you cannot move immediately onto the second part. The Professional Dilemmas paper is a situational judgment test designed to assess your response to situations involving challenging professional dilemmas, as the name suggests. You have 95 minutes for this section, and there'll be 50 scenarios, of which there are two different question types. So firstly, we have ranking questions. You will have to rank four or five actions in order of appropriateness. It's important to note that the actions are distinct and are not intended to be taken together. This will be half of the questions in the PDP paper. Candidates' answers are marked against predetermined keys, i.e. model answers. The more similar your answer is to the model answer, the more marks you score. Next, multiple best answer questions. Here, there is a scenario that you will be presented with eight options, of which you have to pick the three most appropriate actions that, when taken in conjunction, will be a complete resolution of the circumstances. It's really important to understand that it is the three actions combined, not separately. So it is action A plus action B plus action C not action A or action B or action C. Multiple answer questions are also marked by comparing candidates answers to predetermined model answers. The main thing that people struggle with in this section is time because you have about one minute and 48 seconds per question and some scenarios may be longer or require more thought than others. The second paper is the clinical problem solving paper where you have 75 minutes to answer 97 questions split into extended matching questions, where you're given a set of responses, usually between seven and 10, and asked to select the most appropriate option for one or multiple scenarios. Each of the responses may be used once, more than once, or not at all. The other question type you'll be familiar with, which are single best answer questions, where you're asked to choose the most appropriate option from a list of four or five options, with the standard similar to medical finals. In terms of how it is marked, your scores from the two sections are combined and the total is put into a standardized score range and bands of one to four with one being the lowest. It's then up to the specialty which you're applying for who decide the cutoff for your scores and the weighting of your score in the application. 
Now let's talk about the content covered. In the professional dilemmas section, the three main competencies tested are professional integrity, coping with pressure, and empathy and sensitivity. Knowledge of specialty training is not needed, but a general understanding of primary and secondary care work is expected. Questions are set in the context of the UK Foundation Programme, and candidates assume the role of F2 doctors. However, to maintain fairness for candidates, including international medical graduates, questions do not test any knowledge of policies or procedures that are specific to the UK. The clinical section will cover the following specialties that you can see on screen. Themes that will be covered across each of these specialties include investigations, such as initial or gold standard, diagnosis, prescribing, management, and clinical emergencies. Now, how to prepare for the MSRA. By watching this video, you've already made the right first step, which is familiarizing yourself with what the MSRA exam is, what to expect, and how it is marked. When it comes to when you should actually start revising and preparing, most people take around one to two months and bear in mind that this is also alongside a full-time trust grade or training post. This is pretty much around the time of application time, if you are taking the January sitting. While it will be difficult to balance exam preparation in tandem with a busy on-call rotor, it is definitely possible, and that's why starting early is key. Much like for the SJT exam, for the Professional Dilemmas paper, it's worth having a read again of the GMC's good medical practice. Once you're happy with this, by far the most useful thing you can do and what you want to dedicate as much time as you can to are practice questions. You should aim to spend a couple of hours each day practicing. You want to get through as many high quality practice questions as possible and get into the habit of doing these in timed conditions once you're comfortable with the question types early on so that you can simulate the real thing. I would recommend starting with the professional dilemmas question first because familiarizing yourself with the exam technique and getting into the mindset required for this section can take some time, as compared with the clinical section, where most of you will already have a solid foundation of knowledge and will be familiar with these type of questions. So that's everything that I wanted to cover on the MSRA exam and how to prepare for it. Thanks for listening, and if you have any further questions, our email is in the description. Look out for lots more content from us, which will help you with your MSRA preparation and follow our socials for updates. We wish you the very best of luck here at QuesMed.